YouTube, welcome back, welcome back to my channel. Well, to all the returning friends and family, my sisters and brothers, welcome back to my channel. Hit this like button, let me get into the algorithm. If you're new to my channel, my name is Coach Raw, I am a Kingdom Leadership Coach, and I teach relationship from a Kingdom perspective. Kingdom means God, we are doing things, so I teach dating from a Godly perspective. But yet and still, I'm not like a holy roller, you know what I'm saying, like that. So, I'm going to say some things that are going to shock you. Like, dang, you're, you're a kingdom man talking like that? Yeah. <laughs> and the reason why I'm laughing because today I got a real interesting topic today. And some people are going to get hot and going to get upset and get in their feelings. And I really don't care, you know. Yesterday I thought about this as I was walking you know, um, get something to eat. And I was like, man, I could be sort of offensive on my videos. I, you know, I need to turn it down a little bit. But what dropped in my spirit was Jesus was offensive too. You know, Jesus wasn't no pushover. He, you know, he wasn't no little, oh, I'm a Christian and I don't hurt nobody's feelings, you know. You know, <laughs> uh, he called the Pharisees hypocrites. He said, you hypocrites right in front of their face. You know, Jesus was, Jesus had a little smart mouth. And they was talking about killing Jesus. He said, no man kill me. He said, no man take my life. I lay my life down. Then he said, destroy this temple. In three days, I'll rise again. And they're like, what? Destroy the temple. You see what I'm saying? And they were so lost. They thought he was talking about a real temple that you're going to worship at. He's talking about his body is a temple. And then when they were selling inside the, the, the temple, selling inside, Jesus flipped over tables and, and got a whip and started beating people. Jesus was offensive. But his motive, and that's the thing. I may be offensive, but my motive is not to come on here to offend people. My motive is to come on here to empower people, to, to educate people. And, you know, I, I was talking to a client and she was like, you know, I, I don't want to seem like, like I'm trying to fatigue people, tell them how to live their life. You know, because she, she wanted to be a coach and start doing her videos and stuff like that. So she was saying, like, you know, that's in her mind. And she said, she said, I noticed you said, she said, I noticed you sort of do that too sometimes, Coach Raw. I said, yeah, but that's about being in ministry. And I told her that what prophets did in the Bible, prophets hurt feelings. They didn't like prophets. Everybody didn't like prophets in the Bible. Because the prophets told you what you didn't want to hear. See what I'm saying? So that's what, that's what I do on this channel. But I do it in love. So I got another video. This is a video to warn my white queens that follow me. <laughs> and the topic is why some men, no, the real reason some men only date white women. The real reason some men only date white women. Okay. I think yesterday or the day before yesterday, I was talking about my friend, my homeboy. At one point, my homeboy, he dated a number of blacks. He married a black woman. And the relationship never worked out for my homeboy. Right? So he got mad with black women. In his mind, all black women don't submit. All black women this. All black women that. Let me date white women. Right? And like I said, I'm not against interracial dating. But what I'm against is when you are a certain race and you don't date your own kind because you think that your race people is stink. But white folk is don't stink. And when you are a black man, and when a black man say, all black women, not some black women, all black women don't submit. All black women are mean. All black women are rude. They bossy. All black women got attitude. 
I'm a dead white women. What they really saying is white women ish don't stink. And like I told y'all, if you go use the bathroom, okay, what color you is, what race or creed you is, your ish smell the same way. <laughs> I told y'all somebody would get hurt today. <laughs> but I'm trying I'm doing it in love. That's my whole point of my video this whole week. It's not about Dating outside there is about doing it with the wrong motive. Would you thinking that if you go date someone of, of, of another race, you're going to automatically get treated right? And again, my whole book problem is he keep choosing women that don't have character. He chose women that, that he chose a black woman. That was, um, I'm not going to say the age period anymore. I'm trying to start cussing. But she was promiscuous. I really want to say the H-O. The age period. <laughs> I really want to say. I, I, I'm trying to stay safe. Ain't going to start fussing. Trying to stay safe. Ain't going to start cussing. I'm trying to stay safe. But. My homeboy tried to turn a. A H O, I'm gonna say that. A H O into a housewife. Right? Cause you remember, like I told y'all, my homeboy was painting his church. A woman, which is a black woman, came to him, came to his church, saw him painting. Now I'm getting, I'm going somewhere with now. This is why a lot of black men are going to white women, right? So the the the, the homegirl came around my, my my homeboy church. He was painting up the church. Talked to his pastor. Hey pastor, I need somebody to come paint my house. The pastor called my homeboy down. Hey y'all, you changed the mood. I got a job for you, dog. She wanted you to come paint the house. My homeboy called her one day. Excuse me, y'all. My homeboy called one day and said, you know, hey, I want to come and give you an estimate on the job. She said, fine. My address is such and such and such. My homeboy goes to her house and homegirl said, I don't want that paintbrush. I want your other paintbrush. I want that hammer. So my homeboy Start messing around with the girl and married the girl. That's why I call her A H O. That what that what that what hoes do. <laughs> they are promiscuous people, not just women. You got you got H O men too, uh, men hoes too. You got men hoes as well. Cause if a man is promiscuous, men who have women in rotation are hoes too. So you got men hoes too. I'm just gonna say it. Or should I say whore? <laughs> with an hour. So he fell in love with her and tried to turn her to a housewife. She emasculated him. She did on him. Now if a woman pursue you now this is dumb stuff that black men do. If a woman pursue you and let you get her on her back that easy more than likely she gonna cheat on you. You can't trust no woman, white, black, or whoever. You can't trust no woman going to pursue you and going to let you get her on her back that easy. So she emasculated my friend. She didn't hear what the pastor. Call him all kind of B, you a punk, you you a L boy, all kind of stuff. Yeah. She divorced him. Now my friend said, you know what, I'm dating all white women. We saw. Here you go, man. I'm dating all white women, man. Oh yeah, I said cool, man. That's good, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Hey, you should start dating white women too. I said, dog. You know me. I'm straight. You know, if I, I said, you know, if if it happened, it happened. But I'm not gonna. I told you, I'm not gonna have a mindset that all black women are here. 
and just thought they ain't white women. No, but I said if it happened, it happened. But I told them, I love black women. And again, my preference is black. Not because I think that all black women are this and white women are such and such. And I don't like white women. It's not, it's not that. It's because I know what I like physically. I know what turned me on physically. In my opinion, in my eyes. There's no other race of women more beautiful than the black women. I love black. I love the skin color. I, I, I'm, black is beautiful, baby. And black women, they make me, when I see some black women, I got to plead the blood of Jesus. One time, I was in Atlanta. About a couple of years ago, about maybe two years ago, and I was driving trucks. And, you know, sometimes on the weekend, I, if I'm in a certain city, if I got a low in Atlanta or somewhere, Houston, whatever, I get a room for the weekend and chill Saturday and Sunday and go back to work Monday. So I got a room for the weekend, one time in Atlanta, downtown Atlanta. So I was downtown Atlanta, nice hotel. So I said, you know, I'm going to get out. I'm a single man. I'm a kingdom man who asking this. I've been asking it for some years, a long time. I had banana pudding, so banana pudding had me. So I'm, I'm, I'm you know. <laughs> Anyways, I say, you know, I'm a, you know, and, and I pin up being asking this till I get married. So, but anyways, I was like, let, let, let me get out, get something to eat, man, explore the town. Downtown Atlanta. I went out to go get something to eat to a restaurant and sit down. In downtown Atlanta on a weekend, I saw all the beautiful black women out there, all these right here hanging out, showing butt all over the place, um, stomach out, booty hang hanging. I said, "Oh Lord, have mercy." I said, "The blood of Jesus." I said, "You know what? I'm gonna go back in that room." And then offer me to order me some food because boy, these women gonna get me in trouble. Do you understand? Do you hear me? I said, these women gonna get me in trouble. Before I get into some trouble, try to holler at one of these women and mess around and pull one of these women. <laughs> Let me go back to my hotel room. Honda Wakanda Bashanda Raba Toto Basha. Them black girl had me. I said, you know what? I got to go back to my hotel room. Because they going to have me in trouble. I don't want me walking around in downtown Atlanta in the hammer like they right here. So, because they showing everything. So, I turned my butt around and got in my butt. I got another sense to understand my weakness. And I got a sense to understand when I'm feeling timid, I got to get out of a certain environment. So I said, you know what? I'm finna go back in the hotel room and order me some food. Cause boy, these these the black women down here in Atlanta, boy, they Lord have mercy. So that's my reasoning. You know, I prefer to date blacks because they 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 what they do it for me physically. I'm I'm very visual. I ain't gonna lie. The woman that I marry and I date, she had to be attractive to me in my eyes. I'm not talking about what society calls attractive. I'm not talking about what society calls attractive. I'm not talking about she got to be a certain dress size and all that kind of stuff. Like the idiot, um, Kevin Sane used to say, well, what's your dress size? And all that kind of stuff. Judging our black women according to the, 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 um, the European model of a woman. I'm not talking about that. I don't care if she was a full, I don't care if they full figure, big, bony, whatever. If they, they got to be attracted to my ass. I don't care if they slim. They got to be attracted to my ass. You know what I'm saying? So all shape, all sizes look good to me. You know what I'm saying? So I know what I like. So I prefer to stick with what I, what really turns me on. I'm not saying other races don't look attractive. They're attractive too. But they don't really get me up like, dang, boy, I got to 
Jesus. You see what I'm saying? And, and I'm just being real with y'all. Black is beautiful. So I prefer. But if I happen to meet somebody else for another race and we hit it off, I'm not saying I won't dead outside, I won't never did outside my race. But if I do, she gonna have to be a bad chick. No, she gonna have to have someone in black girl. She gonna have to be she gonna have to be she gonna have to have a body like a black she gonna have to have, have a body like a black girl. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, she gonna have to be she gonna have to be a, a fine gorgeous white girl or a Spanish girl, whoever she is, she gonna have to be bad. Compared to getting the black queen. All, all I'm saying. So I prefer. My my reason is not because I think all white people this and all Spanish people this and no, 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 no. And that's the problem that I have. And that's why a lot of black men are dating only white women. Not all. Not all. Not all. You have some some white men who married black women. I, I, I got a black friend. He married a white girl and he genuinely truly in love with her. He didn't go around saying, oh, I'm going to date all white women. It just happened for him. And they've been married. They've been together since they was teenagers. And, they, and he about my age now. And he, and they been married for 20 some years. They happy. So they're not talking about everybody. But a lot of white men are going to the black, to the white women. A lot of black men are going to the white women because they assume that white women are more submissive because they dated ignorant black women in their mind all black women are like this so instead of them holding themselves accountable and say you know what I'm choosing the wrong women the problem with a lot of black men, they don't sit down and properly vet women. A lot of, and not just black men, men in general, but we talking about the day a topic is why black men, why some black men, why some black men, why some black men. I'm gonna say it again, cause you got some people that ride, rode a little short bus, they're a little slow. Why some? Black men, a lot of black men, put it like that. They only white women because they choose the wrong black woman because they do stupid stuff like my friend did. One time, a woman pursued me. One time, just like how my friend got pursued, and she was a black girl. And she pursued me. I, I work for UPS, and she 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 ran. She followed me in my UPS truck, and she did a drive by. I I I, I remember the day I was on Sunrise Boulevard. If y'all from Fort Lauderdale, Broward County, y'all know what I'm talking about. I was on Sunrise at 31st. I just left the swap shop. I was on 31st and Sunrise heading east down Sunrise. I mean left down 20. I think 27. And I made a left on 10th place. I think that 10th place over there. Either I think that was 10th place. I made it leave over there. Got the truck. I went around the truck. She pulled up. What? I'm like, what the hell? Cause she was, she, she was going fast. She slipped on brakes. Hey, how you doing? You single? UPS? You single? I'm like, yeah. Here, take my number. Call me. Okay, you know, no problem. So me, I'm a man. I don't like to let you down. See, no, I'm not interested. So I just took a number to throw it away. You know what I'm saying? Let it, you know what I'm saying? I ain't want to be like, oh, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't like women who pursue me and then get cussed out. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't do all that. So I took a number. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, uh, okay, I'm going to call you now. Yeah, okay. She drove off. I, I threw a number away. I'm like, I ain't calling you. Right? So one day, I was in Dilla area. And I was on um, 13, no, 14th Street. I think that 14th Street. Yeah, 14th Street. 
and I, I remember her SUV. She had a, she had an older model Lexus SUV. I think it was black. It was backed up in the uh, apartment. I said, you know what? I ride by. I ride by every day to make my deliveries. Cause that church they have a lot of packages that on next to the apartment. So I ride by the. I said, it's the same girl truck who tried to holler at me. That where she live at. I said, oh okay, she live right there. So I ain't think none of it. So one day, her neighbor had a, had a package. So I had I had I had, I had, I had um, delivered to her neighbor. So I'm not on her neighbor door. UPS. She came out her door. Said, "Oh, hi, UPS." She came out her door. She had some tight on, showing you know. She had, she was a slim girl, slim girl with a nice little cute little slim shape. She wasn't bad looking now. She was, she was slim with a little cute little shape, face looking on point and everything. But hey UPS, I signed for it at my neighbor. So UPS, you can't let a neighbor sign for it, just leave a note in the computer. Neighbor sign for it, her last name in the computer, so they, the, the customer know your neighbor last name so and so apartment. Left that apartment six, so now she know to go to apartment six when she track her package. So that's protocol. So she signed for the package and all that there. You remember me? I like yeah. You never called me. Why you call me? I started laughing like hell. You know I'm a little shy. You know. <laughs> oh, you shy, huh? Yeah. You, you ain't gotta be shy. I ain't gonna buy call me. You still got my number? Yeah, yeah. I I, I still got it. Call me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What the way I said, girl, I ain't calling you. I got a sense to know a woman who pursuing me. Okay, what color she is? White, black, Spanish, whoever. Don't, don't, don't get involved with a woman like that. Cause why? She do not have character. Now some women gonna get offended if, if y'all pursue me. You gonna get offended? Don't get offended. I'm trying to help. She do not have morals. A woman that throws herself at a man, a woman that pursues a man will get you in trouble. A woman that pursues me, a woman that give me her number and, and she's pursued me twice, that woman more than likely will cheat on me. If I would have got with that woman and got her pregnant, and fell in love with her and got a soul tie with her, she probably would have cheated on me. Now get what? Me, I'm mad at black women, man. I'm gonna take all white women. Let me take my money. They all gold diggers, man. Now another black girl. Pursued me one time. Ooh, UPS, you got some fine. You so fine, UPS. Ooh. When I was regular UPS, I had about at least three or four black girls pursue me on my route. And I could have got with every last one of them. I could have got with the other one who pursued me. Got her number. If a woman going to pursue you, she going to get up and that putting up real fast. Got her in the bedroom. Bam, bam, bam. Fall in love with her. Uh, get a soul tie with her. I think I'm in love. I'm hooked on the banana pudding. She cheated on me. She emasculated me. If you mother F, kiss my black A. Blah, 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 blah. There's three black women that I choose to date with no morals. Now I'm hurt. Now I'm mad at all black women because I do because I keep choosing the same type of women. So now in my mind, all black women are like this. So guess what? The grass is greener on the other side. I'm going to date white women. They more submissive. And when a white, when a black man say women are more submissive, white women are more submissive, what they mean is they, y'all more, they can, they can control y'all. That's what black men, they what black men mean by submission. They want somebody that they can control 
who don't have a, who don't have a voice. And this is why again, this, this is why the passport bros are going to foreign countries and getting poor women who need a black behind. They go get these poor women who don't have them going for themselves because their country is poor. And they gonna be submissive to them because they wanna come to America and get their green card and they wanna get out of their poverty. They they look for their kinsman redeemer. <laughs> If you don't know what a kingman redeeming is, Google it. That's that what Boaz was, was the root. Boaz was Ruth Kingsman. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. They go to these foreign countries and get the... And I, and I read a comment on um, yesterday, and, and she was saying she was watching the 90 Day Fiance or something like that. And a black man was trying to get a, um, a Vietnam woman. And the Vietnam woman said, you ugly black people. I told y'all they don't like your black butt. Did I tell y'all that right now? But these black men want to go over there and get these, these, these women who they say are submissive because they, they know they can control these women. They what black men mean by control. Some black men, most black men mean control when they say submit. Right? So... My white queen, I'm trying to put y'all on game. Don't get mad at me. I'm trying to put y'all on game. So they assume, they assume that they come on y'all side because they're insecure. They don't love themselves. They hate their own race. And they are insecure. And you don't want to date an insecure man. If a man do not like his own black women, he's not going to like you. And the only reason why he coming to you because he wants to control you. I'm black. I was raised in an all black neighborhood. I don't remember not one white people living in my neighborhood. All black folk. And the boys in the hood, the older men in the hood, the boys in the hood is always hard. Gonna talk on that track, we'll pull you. No, but the boys in the hood. The older black man in the hood, get you a white woman, dog. A white woman will take care of you, dog. They got money, dog. So, most black people in the hood, a lot of black people in the hood think all white people rich and got money. A lot of black people in the hood think that all white people each don't stink. A lot of black men in the hood think that white women each don't stink. They are perfect. Let's go and date white women. We can eat their food, drive their car. Matter of fact, they'll buy me a car, dog. They'll buy me a car. I can live in their house. They might buy me a house. I can live in their house. Yeah, that's why they're they going to y'all. I ain't, I'm just being real with y'all now. They assume. My white queen, don't get mad and turn me off. I love y'all too. I'm trying to get y'all the plug, my white queen. I'm trying to get y'all the plug. Your brother Coach Rod ain't trying to make you upset. I'm trying to get you the plug. A lot of black men are going to y'all because they think that y'all going to take care of them. Y'all got money. Y'all rich. They gonna drive. They wanna drive y'all car. They want y'all credit. They want y'all credit. Yeah. They want put. They, they want y'all put their name, put y'all name on 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 your house, on your cars and stuff. They're not going over to define true love. They going over there cause they hurt. They're angry at black women. They insecure at black women. They intimidated by black women. Excuse me. Not insecure. But they are intimidated by black women. And they are insecure within themselves. So let me go to the white women. So my white queen. What I'm telling y'all is. I'm not telling y'all don't date black men. I'm telling y'all what to look out for. So when the black men come to you, you know how to vet that man. If that man come to you with a true genuinely heart 
and he truly want to be with you, fuck how he like you, and y'all getting along, go ahead on and date. And if he married material, go ahead and marry that man. I'm not saying no marry no black man. But what I'm trying to tell y'all is properly vet that man and ask these questions. Um, I just want to ask you, so, um, you know, so you, you like white girls, huh? Yeah. You don't date black girls? I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't date black girl. Oh, you don't? Oh, wow. Oh, man. This lavish smile. Okay. You must have you must have a lot of bad experience with black girls. Black women don't submit. Black women the mean they rude. When you hear that right there? Okay. Smile and laugh. Alright. And eat and slowly lay him down real nice, real calm, and X him out. Ask that question. I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all, white queen. I'm trying to get y'all to plug. Ask that question because if a white, if a black man only dating y'all because he don't like black women, he's not gonna like you. He's not gonna treat you right. Cause like I said, if they don't like black women, they don't like their own daughter. If they don't love their own daughter, how the hell they gonna love you? They don't love their own mama, their own sister. How the hell they gonna love you? So I'm saying, ask the questions. When they come to you, because they gonna come to you, ask the question. Like, hey, you know, hmm. I just, I just want to know, you know, uh, I'm the first white girl you dated. No, I, 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 don't, I don't date black girl. I don't want to date white. Oh, okay. Wow, you must have had a bad experience with, 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 with black girls, huh? Yeah, man. They're gonna, they're gonna tell. Just be nice with it. You gotta know how to ask in a nice, sweet way. When a man wants something from you, he he gonna you gonna get anything out out that man. Use your womanly influence. Invent him, and he don't know he's being vetted. He know he be, he don't know he being vetted. You gonna tell you everything. Yeah, they cheat. When the black man say that, it's because he keep choosing. Women, we don't have no character and no morals. A lot of black men do stupid, and all men do this, but we're talking about the black men today. The topic is why some black men, why a lot of black men dating only white women. So we're dealing with the black man, but all men do this. But a lot of black men do dumb stuff like this right here. They'll go online dating and meet a black woman and don't Bet the woman. Don't take her out on no date and ask questions. Meet the uh, meet the woman off, offline. And they immediately set up a way to they can have that woman come to their place or go to a hotel or they go to, they go to that woman place or whatever. And that woman drug their butt and rob them and take their credit card, their debit card, take their money. They wake up, they be robbed. Instead of saying, you know what, I gotta start doing stupid ish. I gotta start dating women and trying to get in the bed with these women. I don't even know these women and they robbing me. I gotta stop being stupid. I gotta hold myself accountable and start vetting these women, asking questions, going out on dates. Instead of them doing that right there, they point fingers at the black women. They all gold diggers. They get mad. Then they go to the white women. They white women. Because they assume. I'm not saying it's true. They assume that y'all are weaker. They can control y'all. They can manipulate y'all. See a lot of black queen. It's a trend going on with black women now. Black women are wild. They, they are bossing up. They getting their own money. They, they, you know what I'm saying. They, 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 they getting their body right. They mind right. They getting therapy. They getting coaching. You know what I'm saying? They leveling up, and a lot of black men they got more drive and ambition than, than a lot of black men. A lot of black black men don't have the, the drive and ambition as, as a black woman now. Not all. Some black women are still you know not on that level yet. But a lot, it's a trend going on with black women. They know how to make money. It's a lot of success for black women now. If you do your research, the black woman is coming up. And. When the, and, and most likely when a woman 
watch the videos, read books. Like the girl Laura Dawson said, when they start reading George Myers and start listening to TDJ Dawn and start doing self development, start getting therapy, start taking care of themselves and start getting their body right, building their self esteem up. A woman raises her standard to a different level. And a lot of black men are insecure and, and, and they are intimidated by a woman that bossed up, that got herself together. So now they want to go to the white women. Because they feel like y'all are more controllable. It's not about being submissive because they don't know what submissive is. Because it's mighty funny that a lot of black men complain about and and, 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 and y'all might see it in my comments sometimes. And, and, and they be and they be in my comment like a little um little girl crying like a little girl. You might see these little faggots. These little faggots in my comment crying. And and I appreciate y'all who defend me in, in the comment section. Thank y'all, I love y'all. But I don't pay it no mind. I don't, I don't pay it no mind. Because I feel good when you don't like me and you supporting me. You watching my content and you coming on my content. You you helping me grow, dog. So you don't like what I'm saying. And I make I make them so mad. I make these grown boys so mad. Coach Roy, I, I hate your videos. Yeah, one guy told me, Coach Roy, I'm sick and tired of your videos. Well, nigga, I'll start watching then. I don't care. You ain't hear my feelings. <laughs> you ain't hear my feelings. You don't, you don't, you don't let my videos. So what? Yeah, I be, I be reading they comment. I don't say nothing. I just laugh. And I get it coming in the heart. Thank you. <laughs> get in my heart. They get even madder when they see me get a, get in my heart. They get mad. Like, he get in the heart. He don't want to argue back with me. Because they want me to argue with them in the comment. They want me to get in the comment and start cussing at them. Start want to fight with them. Oh, man. I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for that. You see what I'm saying? So y'all gonna see these little girls in the comment crying like a little uh, these, these little boys in the comment crying like a little, like a little girl in the comment being all feminine and sweet. Coach Rod, you a simp, dog. That ain't true, Coach Rod. Right? Who told you to be a coach? Who gave you the third to be a coach? You ain't no real coach, Coach Rod. Right? You, you, you fake and all that kind of stuff here. You gonna see those comments. But I'm just trying to get y'all white queen to plug. So what I'm telling y'all white queens is, be all if you if you choose to date a black brother, that's cool. But vet these black brothers. Make sure that they have the right motive. Make sure they're not dating you because they don't like their own people. Because if I don't like my own people, my daughter black. I got a black sister. I got a black niece. Which is my sister's daughter. So if I don't like black women, if I say all black women don't submit, all black women are this, I'm talking about my black daughter. So if I don't love my black daughter, how am I going to love somebody else? How am I going to love myself? They don't even love themselves. How can they love you if they don't love themselves? Huh? That's what the word say. How can a man say he loves a woman, but he don't love himself. Huh? Come on now. And he always focus on one, one scripture in the Bible. They focus on submit to your husband unto the Lord. And they start right there. They start right there. But they don't read the whole scripture. Ephesians 5 and 22 all the way to 31. It said, submit to your husband. That's number one. Ask unto the Lord. They want to come in your life and don't, don't even want to marry you. They want to be your boyfriend for 50 years. And they want submission. They want to get you on your back. Don't marry you. And have you in, living in sin for 50 years. And you talking about, we've we, we been together 10 years and you we still ain't married. I don't know I want to marry you yet. Oh, I ain't ready to get married. But they want submission. How bad goes that is? Make that make sense. Don't want to get mad, but they want submission. They want submission, but they don't understand Ephesians 5 and 25. Love your wife 
as Christ loved the church, he gave himself. They don't want to give himself to a woman, to their wife. Not their girlfriend, but their wife. When a man, how does a man give himself to, to a woman? By marrying her. When a man marry a woman, that's him giving himself to her. Sacrificing. Being a bachelor. Sacrificing being single. And having a choice to be with most of the women. And saying, you know what? I'm going to be just me and you. We're going to be exclusive. That's what, that's what it means for a man to give himself. They don't want to give himself like the Bible says. But they want submission. They don't want to love a woman into submission. By treating her right. By leading with love. They want to control a woman. To cook my food. Shut up. Let me get all the sex I want. And I might not marry you. Let me put my helmet in your bread basket in the back part. My ex did that. We did it all the time. Ah, oh, no, no, no. You ain't been submissive. You ain't been submissive. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they, that's what they mean by submissive. So they want to come to y'all white women and they, they, they think that they y'all weaker and they can get y'all money. They're going to ask for your money. They're going to they gonna, they gonna, they gonna try you. Do I always tell y'all women? White, black, Spanish, whoever you is watching my videos. Spanish, white, black. Do not give no man money. Period. Because these black men, they want, they want your money. Not all of them, but some. A lot of black men was taught in the hood at the barber shops. Street corner. This is what I'm telling y'all. We was taught to get a white woman because white women have money. And black people in the hood think that all white people are got money and they are better than us. That was put inside our head. We was taught that we have a strike against us if we are black. We was taught that. And I heard a preacher say this here. If you black, you got a strike against you. A preacher preaching foolishness inside the pulpit. That's foolish to say I'm black and because I'm black I got a strike against me. That's foolish. They, they're, not, they're not what God really says about me. See what I'm saying? So we was taught as black people to look down on ourselves and uplift the white folks. So insecure black men, they want to go to they want to go to y'all because they don't love themselves. They don't love their black women. They don't love their own black daughters, their, their black mothers and sisters. They they, cause they keep choosing the same. In my friend, he started dating white women. And guess what? He still have not met. He want a wife. He still have not met a white woman. He married and he happy. Cause you know why? He keep dating the same type of women. He don't understand my G. My homie, he don't understand. It's not the color of women who you, who you are dating. It's the lifestyle. It's the character. You keep choosing low value women. He keep choosing low character women. Easy women. Sluts who let them get them on their back real easy. I just y'all know I gotta be real with y'all. I gotta call like it is. I'm sorry. Any woman gonna let a man get on her back real easy? You get a fit how you want to. You acting like a slut. I'm not calling you a slut, but you, you act like one. Any woman that a man get on her back real easy, and this is what they want. They want easy, and this is why they going to the other countries. Because they can go over to the why black men are getting their passport, the passport bros, going to other countries so they can get sex real easy. They ain't got to pursue the women over there. All they got to do is go to the women and show up and throw hundred dollars in their face. I'm from America, I'm looking for a wife. That gang, they, they put on these black, they, they try to put on these black Americans over here. And, and, and they don't work over here, so now they get mad. They go over there, throw a hundred dollar, a fifty dollar bill, you know, to a fifty pound woman. Yeah. God, suck me over here to marry you. And, and, and a fifty pound woman got her legs open in the bedroom. Yes! They want easy banana pudding. Easy sex. They don't want to work for a woman no more. That's why they going... Over difference over other seas and don't want to marry their own blacks here because a lot of black women are requiring them to step their game up. A lot of black women are challenging them 
And I, what I mean by challenge, mean I'm not meaning by trying to fight them, but I mean by challenging them to do better, to get their ish together, because they want to be complacent with working nine to five, working on Fort Lauderdale, making fifteen dollars an hour, coming home on Instagram, and, and you know doing little stuff here, here, playing video game, and wanting a woman to go to work, work overtime. Make more money than them and come home, cook, clean, and have sex on demand. So a lot of women over here, black women are challenging them like, hey, listen, I wanna I wanna make money. I wanna live good. So they getting mad, they go to the white folks. Or they'll go get them a passport, they go to the Philippine women, Vietnam women, women who pro who will need HL, they can get easy. Easy banana pudding that way. They ain't got to pursue them women over there. See, they think they slick. See, they fool y'all. They can't fool Coach Rod. I know a man like a book by a book. I know why black men are going to foreign countries. I know why black men are leaving black women and going to white women. I know. I know. And they'll get right here and get mad. That's not true. Boy, you can't fool me. How you, how you, how you know? How you know? How you, how you know? Cause I'm a man. I'm a man's son. We think similar. We think just alike. If I was a, if I want a kingdom man of character, I'll do the same thing y'all doing. I be like, man, I'm tired of you black women over here in America, man. I'm gonna get me a white girl. If white girl don't work, I'm gonna go get my passport, and I'm going to get me a Philippine woman, boy. Yeah. One time I was driving trucks. And I was I, I um I, I had a delivery in New Jersey, and I had an ex coworker. We had to, we had to deliver at the same place. He was like we was just talking about life and stuff. Then he said, you know, man, hey man, get you a Philippine woman. I said, yeah, yeah, man. He put the phone out. Look at look at that. She got a cousin, man. You want her cousin? He showed me her cousin. I'm like, I ain't trying to be funny, but again, I'm visual. In my head, I'm like, nah, dog. I ain't tell you that, but I'm like, nah. She look good. She look good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She look good. <laughs> she, she look good. Yeah. But in my head, I'm like, I said to myself, I don't want no Philippine woman. <laughs> you go over there and get you a Philippine woman. I want me a black woman. <laughs> I saw the picture of, the, uh, of that Philistine, the Philip, oh, not Philistine, the Philippine woman, whatever they call them. Philippine woman. Now, I'm not saying all of them now, but the one he showed me was not, nothing on black girls. The one he showed me, not all of them. I'm sure they got some attractive women over there too. Again, not all of them, but the one he showed me, I'm like, they ain't got no, on no black girl. You, you gonna date outside your race? And go date a, 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 a another culture or woman, and you gonna dig it. If I do that, she gonna be fine in hell. And you gonna we gonna lead a black woman for that? And that's what I'm saying to myself in my head when I drove off in the truck. I said you gonna lead black women for that? Man, boy gone. I, I probably won't even. I probably won't even be able to get up. <laughs> Okay, shut up, Coach Rod. Shut up. You supposed to be a Christian. <laughs> Coach Rod, this is sick. If I had an edit, if I know how to edit, I edit this, I edit this part out. Coach Rod, this is his kingdom relationship advice. You supposed to be kingdom, Coach Rod. That is not kingdom. <laughs> Child, please. They, they don't even excite me. I'm just being real. The woman he showed me don't even excite me. You want her cousin? Her cousin looking for a man. Nah, dog, I'm straight. I said, nah, dog, I'm straight, though. I'm straight, dog. Oh, man, I'm trying to tell you, but black women don't submit. The last black woman, my, 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 my son, mama, my child, mama, she did it. Because you choose a child, you have a baby from a woman who, who don't got no sense. Because you don't sit down and properly vet the the black women so yeah some black women are crazy and don't have sense and a lot of black women are good women are submissive and they have sense but 
the good black women don't want you because you're not a good black man. Because you don't know how to attract a good black woman. You can't attract, see, a lot of black men can't attract a good black women that have morals, that have character, that's God-fearing, that's faithful, loyal, integrity. Because you know why? They watch nasty movies. You know why? They sit around on Instagram all day liking, liking Fuji's on Instagram, all on Facebook, commenting all on Facebook on, 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 on girls and liking girls in the public pictures. And then they'll inbox a real a, a real black woman, a queen. How you doing? I want to get to know you. Dude, this what, what go on now. Cause this what, this what I coach women now. I coach women. So the black the black queen will go on on her on on profile. She gonna look at the friend. He, she gonna look at the friend list. And all she see is women on there. All her friends is a bunch of women that showing their booty on there. She gonna click on their profile. And she gonna see what they posting. If she see that nigga in the comment of everything she posting, giving her her heart, and she gonna show her body in the purple, get what? It's, it's a no for me, dog. They get mad. Black women stuck up. They don't want no good man. Nigga, you ain't no good man. Excuse my language. I'm from the hood, y'all. Sometimes the hood come out of me. I forgot that I was kingdom. But Negro, we no good man. So they, the hood come out sometimes. Y'all gotta forgive me. We no good man. You on you on you on social media giving hearts to to women. That's all you, that's all you do, call. So because they can't attract a good black woman, they all over the place. But they can't attract that woman. They get mad. They want to go to white women. They want to go to Philippine women because they want to still be a toxic man. They want to still have a woman and still be online, on, 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 online, giving hearts to inappropriate dressing women, online in the comment section. Girl, you so fine, I lick your, I, 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 that, that, that. And they want their girlfriend. Don't say nothing. See, a Philippine woman ain't gonna say nothing. A Colombian woman ain't gonna say nothing. Cause they submissive. Cause they poor. They ain't got no standards. Not all of them. But a lot of them don't. Hey, the coach, y'all, uh, once again, I don't hurt feelings again. Lord Jesus. You got to start it, Lord. I'm hurting these folks' feelings. <laughs> They're going to be the comment cry. <laughs> it's tight, but it's right. Hey, I love y'all, though. If you need a session with Coach Rod, <laughs> send me an email. See, Coach Rod, I want to get a session with you. I'll respond back to you within. By the day, within hours, sometimes I get you know you 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 make me the day you get a session with me today or tomorrow whenever you available. If you want to purchase my book, Queen Don't Settle. I'm not just talking on here. I am a author. I write about what I'm talking about. I put it inside a book. It's a good book. I got a lot of praise put about this book. If you read my book, put in the comment if you like my book. If you don't like it, hey, put it in the comment too. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but if you like my book, say Coach Rod, your book was good. So the women will see that, um, you know, I got it going on in my book. And also, if you want to sow a seed of any amount as the Lord leads you, send me, a, send me a couple of dollars. Hey, it's all good. My cash out is going to be inside the description box. God bless y'all. I love y'all. It's tight, but it's right. Talk to y'all soon.